wide variety of GPS units on the market today. Starting with the simplest, such as this unit here, and it will display your position, it will display your track, you can navigate from point to point. Extremely useful units. You can remove the antenna. You can attach an external antenna, mount that on the roof of your car, your boat, whatever vehicle you happen to be in. Leave that on the dashboard and that may be quite adequate for general navigation purposes. In the same vein, a particular type of GPS that's similar and becoming very popular today is these in-car sat-nav units and these will display mapping, they'll show your track, they will have voice guidance to tell you what, when to turn, etc, etc, etc. Moving after that, after that again, we have units as simple as this, which is a GPS unit, but without any display. Now to display the GPS positions, you need to connect this to a lap, perhaps a laptop computer that's running mapping software or perhaps you may have mapping software in your phone and through a Bluetooth connection between the two units it's possible to then see on your phone where you're, you actually are at any given time. Okay, put it back in. For more critical applications people would tend to use something such as this chart plotter unit which can display particularly uh, marine charts show your position on them and people use these to navigate through fairly difficult waters these are examples of what we call autonomous or standalone GPS in other words they work on their own without reference to any other unit moving up in terms of accuracy we have the next type these are referred to as D, or differential GPS units, and would typically be used for professional applications, capable of accuracies down to of the order of one meter. Okay. A typical DGPS unit is the one shown here. The GPS unit itself is housed in there. Batteries contained here cables for the antenna etc are there. The antenna itself is a more sophisticated unit than on the smaller GPS units. There's the antenna for this particular GPS unit. The controller again is a more sophisticated unit for professional use. So you can get your positions here, you can set up various attributes, you can type in extra information associated with the points that you're measuring. The latest incarnation of that particular unit is this one here. Now this is a good example of a current generation DGPS unit. It has the same functionality as this device, but as you can see, it's far neater. The main antenna is housed in here. It has a touch screen, color screen there, high definition screen. Um, and so it's far more portable and yet capable of the same applications. To receive some of the differential corrections with this unit, you do need this extra part here, but this can be carried remotely. So it becomes quite a, a, a portable unit. The third type of GPS receiver is the high-end, high-accuracy, survey-grade GPS receiver. The early versions looked something like this. Now these are capable of accuracies of the order of 10 millimeters, as opposed to one meter for the, the previous type. So it's a far chunkier box bit of weight in it. The antenna is a large and as you can imagine relatively sophisticated unit. Those type 
developed into something neater where here's the antenna far lighter far smaller the unit itself is housed in this backpack unit takes place through this handheld controller so with the antenna in, in position the backpack on all the controls take place here so this is a far uh, neater arrangement than existed previously mm -hmm.